I could not believe what people did. I had no idea the effort, the words, the care, the work they were doing. I woke up from a nearly fatal accident, a near-death e experience, literally. I woke up from that and I had hundreds of thousands of people putting out their heart in their hands and showing me and letting me know that they're here for me and they're praying for me and they're with me. They just had to tell me they were thinking of me, um, I believe in you, what you're doing, your specific line, etc. Being very specific with my certain songs, um, telling me how it's helped them. And I think what was most shocking to me was their support and, their, and this relationship with these people is all because I took the things that were confusing to me, things about growing up, things about uh, becoming a woman, wanting to play rock music, and all those confusing elements that I was really, things that, honest things about life. The only way I knew how to get through them was to put them into song. How I grew was to sing. I bond with kids, always have, kids are my everything. I love kids, I'm on their level, I speak their language. I don't know why, but um, kids and I, um, and my dog, uh, we all are on the same page. And this all happened from doing childcare years ago. I would be playing with a kid, and then I would either have my guitar, or I kind of sing something, and then they would, what's that? And they would hear it, and even, even kids who were kind of kept to themselves, and kids who kind of were, I could, I could see, they, were, they didn't feel safe enough for it to be shown yet, and I get it. When you see that thing that only they do, and you pry it out of them more, that is um, a discovery. I can't imagine finding uh, and experiencing a more profound experience and seeing a child feel safe enough to be themselves. And once that started happening, I was like, okay, I see where this is going, all right, here we go, let's do this. Then I sing a little bit, then they're like, uh, okay, and they sing along too, and then every, everything just starts to drop. Their, their bricks all just kind of crumble down, and this strength comes out of them. I'm getting chills just even talking about it right now. They feel safe enough to be themselves. And then that happened with adults in audience. People come up and talk to me like I'm their family member. And that is a relationship I can't explain. But all it is is from being vulnerable, giving through music, and people connect somehow. I don't know how. I'm very grateful for it. I'm most grateful for that. And there's a relationship there. To know what people did, and all because I took my little thoughts through my voice and I took them out in public and I said, what do you guys think about this? And people not only caught on, they related, they sang along with me. It's almost like they are grabbing onto a, a life preserver or something. They finally found some water in the desert, that kind of connection that happens. That is why I'm breathing now, that is why I'm getting better now. Just in looking through uh, all the cards and all the notes that were uh, sent to hospital while I was in ICU, I just kind of skimmed through them all last night trying to gather them all, um, and I grabbed some of the ones that I, I really loved, but there were lots that I really loved, so uh, let's just call this uh, today's broadcast of them. Um, love this one. I love you, Jenny. I love you, you are the best singer 
ever. Ever. Microphone. Okay? Jenny Wood is a rock star. Means the world to me. And always will. <laughs> Get well soon. You've helped other people from being bullied. Now it's my turn to help you. Uh, this is a great one uh, that a child drew a picture of a bird. Whistling, I'm assuming. There's musical notes coming out here. And um, <laughs> these things, you don't know what they've done to me. This is the closest to life I've been. I came out and I saw all of your love. It further strengthened my thesis of my existence and my purpose, which is to give what I was given, voice, heart, and mind, to help people. Anyway, all of the things that uh, the universe and God was showing me, and my parents were showing me, Jenny, sorry, sorry, mate. You gotta stay here and you got work to do. You have more kids to sing with and write with and see be weird and you be weird with and y'all grow together and you have more fans, more people to sing with and for. You got more life to sort through and figure out with people musically. And I wanna thank you for all that you gave, for all of your love, your loyalty, your support. Because I have no doubt in my mind what I'm supposed to do and what I'm going to do. Give my voice, heart, and mind. That is my purpose for our continued healing. I would like to thank St. Francis Hospital. All odds were against me, and those doctors and those nurses saved my life with the slim chance that I had. For those who knew me well, biking was a big part of my life. Biking was my church. I would ride to Cedric County Zoo. I ride my bike out there, hardcore biker. I loved biking, and I have for the last six, seven years. Um, I didn't know if I was ever gonna be able to ride a bike again. And I'm grateful to God that I am healing and recovering as I am now, and it is because of them at St. Francis Hospital. I absolutely have to thank the three people who have uh, been by my side consistently, honest, honest, genuine hearts who have helped me recover. Uh, and that is uh, Monica and Alex um, and Angela, Matt Rydell, sorry, I gotta say that name, um, who's an incredible journalist, and I wish I could say the names of the two incredible, honest-hearted uh, filmmakers who are creating this uh, experience with you all. I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for all that you gave and how much you love. I love you. Thank you. <laughs>